Hey, church family, Pastor Jamin here, along with Pastor Sam. Hey, we just wanted to provide you a quick update about what's going on in the life of the church here in the month of December. In particular, with the new shelter-in-place orders that have gone into effect here in our state, we realize that many of you may have questions about what is or isn't happening in the life of the church, in particular in this Advent season. And so first, what about Sunday morning worship? Well, on Sunday morning, we will continue to meet here in person at 11 a.m. in the courtyard outside, just as we've done over the last several weeks. So if you've been with us the last several Sundays in person, you can continue to join us. If you want to begin joining us, we'd love to see you on Sunday morning here at 11 a.m. in the courtyard. For those of you who've been watching online, perhaps you feel more comfortable doing that in this season, we'll continue to offer our services online. On Sunday afternoon, those will be posted to the church website and other platforms we typically post them on. Also, we're continuing to move forward with our Christmas Eve services, and those are on Christmas Eve, of course, at 1 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. And again, we'll be hosting those services just like we are here, our Sunday morning in-person service outside in the courtyard. Those services will as well be posted online, just like our Sunday morning services for those of you who aren't comfortable attending at this time. Now, what else is happening during the month of December, in particular with Advent, that you can be kind of connected to in the life of the church? Well, one thing in particular we provided for you as a resource for Advent are daily devotionals, walking you all the way up to Christmas Day. So you can go to the church website, missionhillschurch.org, to to download those daily devotionals, or you can go to our social media pages on Facebook or Instagram to find them. Now, We realize the new shelter-in-place orders for many of us perhaps land with a bit of discouragement and disappointment. Most of us lean into the month of December, in particular Christmas, with the anticipation of seeing friends, spending time with family, going shopping, doing certain rituals and activities our families used to doing. And probably this season, it means not doing a lot of those things we'd like to do, not seeing some of those people we'd like to see. And this falls on the heels of months of being restricted in ways that have been difficult for many of us and challenging and limited uh, what we've been able to do and who we've been able to see. And so we realize that some of what we might be feeling in this time is sadness, loneliness, disappointment, frustration, exhaustion, maybe even anger. As your pastors, we want to encourage you to take those feelings to a particular place. You know, one of the temptations during times like these of kind of long suffering is going to stuff negative emotions and avoid them. But another temptation is to kind of let them leak out maybe in some unhealthy ways by, you know, lashing out at others or just posting things online. So we want to encourage you, if you feel disappointed, discouraged, frustrated, exhausted in this time, take those emotions to God. The Bible has a way of describing what it looks like to bring those kinds of negative emotions to God in prayer with this word lament. And so we want to encourage you in this season, if you have a lament in your heart, as you continue to kind of walk through what it means to be sheltered in place and restricted and maybe a bit isolated, take those feelings and those emotions and those concerns and those questions and those frustrations to God in prayer. Take some time to lament this season. Hebrews chapter 10, starting in verse 23, says this, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. And we want to take that verse seriously here in two particular ways. We as your pastors want to encourage you to remain engaged in the life of the church, whether that's through our in-person services here on campus or whether it's online, to not neglect meeting together. We want to encourage you to draw near to the Lord and draw near to the life of the church because the church is one of the ways God has provided for us to grow in our faith. The the good confession that's spoken of here in Hebrews chapter 10, that we come to know and love the Lord through relationship with our brothers and sisters in Christ. So I want to encourage you to remain and stay committed to being engaged with the life of the church. And also to consider how you can stir up one another, to encourage one another daily. Think of those in the church body and the family of God that you know the relationships that you have and encourage one another. Pick up the phone, give them a call, send a text message. Find a way to encourage one another during this season because we all need it. We all get discouraged, especially in times like this. So take the opportunity to do that. Now, in closing, we want want to recognize this shelter-in-place order is supposed to last us until the end of the month. 
And we want to remain committed to you to communicating well as to how any kind of changes and orders will affect the life of the church. So you can count on us to uh, reliably and consistently communicate how the stay-at-home stay orders and all the different um, health mandates affect the life of the church. And so if there's any changes, any new developments, we'll make sure to communicate with you as soon as possible. The only little detail I want to mention is over the next few weeks, our office will be closed, but you can still reach us by calling us 760-759-2233 or emailing us info at missionhillschurch.org. In addition to that, our elders and pastors are going to be reaching out to you, giving you a call, trying to see how we can care for you and pray for you during this holiday season. With that being said, it is our deepest prayer that you would have a very Merry Christmas. So God bless you all and Merry Christmas.